A very good evening to everyone. My name is Haiza Mona Ismail, alias Abu Hassan. I am from Kuala Lumpur, working as lab assistant at secondary school SMK Segambut, also in Kuala Lumpur. As an introduction, today we are going to talk about sports. As everyone knows that sports is a physical activity that can help people to keep fit, healthy and become an active person. We can have a positive lifestyle as sports bring us a positive mentality and also physically. Sports can be done at any level of age and it also can make people become uh, an active person. Hello, my name is Nur Sabina Binti Ashikin and my metric number is JP1117521 and I am majoring in biology. Uh, today, I would like to talk about my mind game. Mind game is, my game is entertaining but mentally demanding exercise. Games that challenge thinking, strategy and memory are all good way to exercise brain. These games are designed to enhance attention, memory, and response time. Chess is one example of mind game. Chess is a strategy heavy game. You cannot just move a piece and hope for the best. Instead, you must prepare in advance, outsmart your adversary, and then prevail. Chess also can help for keep the mind alert and to improve strategy thinking. Sudoku so might be a popular example today. In order to complete a game, you must put number from 1 to 9 into square until each number from 1 to 9 has its own square and line. You must put a lot of thought into this game, which is a great way to maintain mental health. Another example is solving crossword puzzle. It can not only teach a new vocabulary, also, a new information in general, especially if collaborate with others to tackle challenging riddles. The majority of crossword puzzles include a range of knowledge. We also can discover a new knowledge on politics, science, entertainment, entertainment, history, and much more. In conclusion, we will use an intellect to think, strategize, and remember knowledge when playing this game. In mind, the advantage of playing mind game to keep my healthy and strong. This is all for me. Thank you. My name is Mas Ayu Binti Adam. My metric number is JP1115321. And I'm a radiographer in Kuala Lumpur. I would like to talk about uh, traditional sports in Malaysia. So traditional sport mostly played in a group of two or more. Some of them are being played individually. So these traditional sports, they have existed for a very long time and some are still played to this day. Generally, these sports or, or games consist of push games and yak games. Post game include uh, batu seremban, congka, bottle caps, checkers, and many more. Meanwhile, the court games such as long pole, ketinting, top spinning game, slipper throwing, konda kondi, also kabadi, and many more also. Some of the traditional sports in Malaysia are appointed as na national heritage and there are places that promote them to the visitors. For example, in the Tronganu Culture Village, the State Tourism Department are holding demonstration for the visitors as an effort in promoting traditional games and folk sports. So for me, it is important for us to keep continuing this effort so that our future generation will not forget this. So I think that's not much for me. 
So what about you, Abirami? What is the sport that excite you this day? My name is Abrami Raja, matrix number JP triple one three nine twenty one. I am a radiologist technologist from PJ. Uh, my part of the story will be I'll be sharing about martial arts. Martial arts are known as a self defense mechanism those days, but now it's one of the most anticipated sport in major countries, and now are added to a major tournaments like Olympics. The word martial arts originally taken from the name of Greek word of war. To name a few famous martial arts sport, not in a specific order, Taekwondo, Karate, Judo, Silat, Silambam, Kung Fu. Many talented individuals got fame from this sport such as Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Muhammad Ali. Martial art doesn't just practice someone's physical body but also connect in a spiritual level of a person who practice it. There is abundance of benefit in practicing this act of sport such as you can develop a very good self-core discipline, flexibility, mental balance, good strength, and mind calmness. These sports are mainly major in many other countries such as Japan, Korea, and many more other countries. So let's have practice these sports and have fun with sports. Thanks Abirami for your input. Uh, hi, uh, my name is uh, Wan Ahmad Faiz. Uh, my metric number is JP11197-21. Now I'm going to explain about eSports. eSports basically is just a competitive video gaming and just like traditional sports, both require skill to perform exceptionally. It has gained popularity in recent years due to the worldwide growth of internet coverage and mobile devices. When we compare esports and traditional sports, esports is more accessible and convenient where you don't even need to be in the same physical location together. Just a working internet connection and a gaming device and you can play with people from every corner of the earth as it requires very much less physical exertion than traditional sports. People of all ages and both genders can compete together without any unfair advantage from certain groups. Examples of the most popular eSport titles currently are Dota 2, CSGO, PUBG and Mobile Legends where the prize money can reach up to 35 million US dollars. Although eSports are seen as positive things in the future of sports, there are concerns about addiction where people practice more than 12 hours a day and this could lead to health issues in the long run. Final thought, it is fair to say that while traditional sports is still the most popular as of today, esports might take that number one spot very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Wan Faiz. So as a conclusion, there are many advantages of involving in sports. It can increase our physical health and enhance mental well-being of person. In research, people who are practice sports every day tends to have better lifestyles. Sports also can help people in low risk of getting any diseases and increase immunity of the body. That's all for our presentation at this time, and I would like to say thank you for all particip uh, participants. Thank you. Thank you.